The forum have two themes, young, and there you are, not me, but you, young researchers and innovation. And innovation because the idea of this forum is allow you to contact with the, plat the industry platform and in a way already open your minds. In Europe we have an organization cost an institution where it is not only possible uh, to meet each other but to really do a network to build up networking that is something that is unique in the world that's nothing where in, in any other uh, continent you will not find a, an institution like that. There's a clear link between industry and research and such kind of event and even the European Technology Platform is the best way to combine research and industry. There is not development without research, there is not innovation without support from the scientists. This meeting in particular has a lot to do with innovation because these young people I have been talking about will meet the technological platform, uh, which is industry, uh, where this innovation is going to come for these industries are going to come from young people. It is important because it's future oriented in two dimensions. First, it's about what we can do to combat climate change using the forest as a more, more industrial resources. It is, uh, it is extremely important. The other thing is it's young researchers. They are literally the future. This is the second cost event for young researchers um, uh, I was invited to. Uh, so uh, I'm really happy to take part in it and uh, again to have a chance to meet uh, other young researchers from other countries, from actually the whole Europe. I think that uh, it's very useful that it connects uh, theory and practice. We had uh, here a lot of interesting uh, practical solutions. For me, the best thing was to to meet new people, to get new information, new ideas. That's it. It's, it's a very good platform to develop context for knowledge sharing, I guess. So it's absolutely useful for us juniors and potentially also for the seniors as well. The benefits of being part of the cost action are meeting with clever people from around Europe, having the time for discussion, discussing common issues, what are the research interests of people from, from different countries. Starting in cost action as a researcher and early stage researcher, like uh, all participants of this event here, uh, I had the chance now to become a chair of a cost action and now I'm in contact and have the opportunity to work with uh, senior scientists all over Europe and beyond. And this gives a great uh, chance for young researchers and uh, early stage researchers for their future development and uh, their career eventually. Well, normally the, the, the situation is if you go to conferences, uh, in most cases the professors give the presentations. So um, early state researchers quite often have not the chance to give the presentations themselves. So here it's really a promotion of the young people. So I think it's really extremely important to, to promote young people also giving talks and, and getting to know each other much better. Well, I think that this uh, joint FTP cost uh, initiative is a very good example of uh, how to use uh, one of the cost strategic instruments uh, to uh, invite uh, young people to come up with their new and in innovative ideas and to present them uh, to older, uh, more established researchers and also to the industry. Uh, and it's, it's obvious that they, they like it. Come on, we, we actually received 180 proposals. So, uh, and that was much more than we had expected. FTP and COST has collaborated since the beginning of FTP. So uh, we also have these partnering events uh, and, and they are very important. It's important that people meet, like today the forest owners, the forest researchers, and the forest industry. We need to understand each other and where we want to go, and we need to, to be able to support each other. The target for the FTP is to be an icebreaker 
to make a clear way for industry and especially for research. All those young researchers who were invited here for speaking or for presenting their posters are the winners. There are two winners of the presentations. First one is Jenny Rahikainen from Finland. The next one I call on, which is uh, the co-winner, is uh, Gianluca Tonde. And uh, the winner of the poster session goes to... It goes to Sweden. <laughs> Josefine Illergård. Let me tell you, these are the top winners, you are the other winners. I feel that the effort that I put in my presentation, it, it paid off. These kind of events give you some self-confidence, which is really important, so that you can think that I can do this. I'm very happy about uh, this uh, uh, opportunity that you gave me, of course, to present, but I'm very happy uh, to win, because the presentation I made was um, quite interesting. During my PhD, uh, I worked a lot alone, and that feels now. Uh, networking and collaborations, it's so important. So their cost really feels, uh, feels an important task. Europe is, in some parts of Europe, literally a forest. We need to take care of that as resources for industry and economic growth and wealth. And we need to cooperate between business, politics and science. We will, we will succeed because this most important to get the objective that you have is to have continuity. And COS is fully committed that during the time we will support young researchers to put them in contact with the right uh, people, either industry or politicians or whatever, and we will achieve uh, this change that Europe needs.